We're here with Kathy Carroll, ASL Immediate Past President. Kathy, thanks for joining us at ASL National. Oh, goodness. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Now, you were ASL president from July 2020 through June 2021. So the entirety of your presidency was under, took place during the COVID pandemic. And I'm sure you have, there are many takeaways, both personal and professional, that you've learned about you know, during your presidential year. But what, are there two to three things that really stood out to you that really reinforced the critical role that school librarians play in today's education? Well, first of all, thank you for the reminder. It's something I don't think I'll ever forget that my presidency was during the height of COVID. Um, I think I found out in March, I think the world kind of shifted in an, an unexpected way in March, and it was right before I began my term. And the entirety was spent primarily in isolation. And we were quarantined for quite a while. I was in my home. Um, all of my state visits had to be canceled. Our board meetings that were to be in person were canceled. Everything was done virtually, which was new to all of us. And we just had to monitor and adjust, and I had to do so to a tremendous um, extent during that term. And I think one of the takeaways was the importance of community and connection because we um, implemented our town halls, which continue to this day. And I've heard continuously that it was just a source of comfort, encouragement, and professional development to have that platform as a meeting place to just hear other voices, to gather as a community. And we also saw that through our learning communities that the students and our staff and our faculty tried to cobble together authentic connections just to be together. And so that told me a lot about our profession, about, but also about us as humans. And I think one of the great takeaways is that we as school librarians, you hear the term and it's almost become trite that we're the hub of the schools. But I think sometimes stereotypes or um, overextended term, overused terms are there for a reason because they're true. We are the hub, we're the heart of the school. And I think people gravitate toward us, not just because we're a safe space for the students, not just because we're a place of creativity and innovation and literacy, but also because it's a place for connections and professional development, so. Now, um, among those many changes that have happened over the past year, year, year plus, can you think of one to two things that may have changed in response to COVID that you think are here to stay now? I think the awareness of the necessity for equity. I think if this, the quarantining, the virtual, the hybrid learning environments, have taught us nothing else, it's taught us the importance of having a level playing field for everyone. I think many of us, myself included, we were astounded by the inequities that we found as far as devices, connectivity, um, personnel, readiness to pivot to this new platform. Some schools made that adjustment almost seamlessly because they were prepared and others did not and did not have the infrastructure to move forward adequately. And I think the change that hopefully I'm very optimistic about is that we're going to see that every school needs a librarian and that every school needs to be prepared and have the proper um, professional development. Mm -hmm. Now considering everything that's happened over the past 18 months, what does ASL National mean to you now in light of all that? I am extremely proud for what we did during this time. I've always been proud of our national association, but I'm extremely proud. We hit the ground running. It was as if, even in the midst of complete chaos, we got toolkits ready. We had resources. We had the pandemic resources. We got things together. We were pushing out so much necessary information. But it wasn't just for our professional needs. It was also, again, as I said about our town halls, we also tried to nurture and to validate the need for community and for being heard. So I just think my national association, it just really fulfilled me during that time professionally. It challenged me, but it also gave me a safe space professional, um, personally. So I made a joke at our last um, board meeting. I said at one point I thought I was just going to do this for a while, but now I think I'm a lifer. <laughs> I'm a lifer. Wonderful. Kathy, thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, again, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure.